Speak Student. The Mask of the Red Death, Alashma. Some things can't be avoided, no matter how frightening they are, like Grandma's cream spinach, circus clowns, and of course, death. In Edgar Allan Poe's short story, *The Mask of the Red Death*, a terrible plague drives Prince Prospero and his besties to lock themselves in an isolated abbey in order to avoid a very unpleasant death. Yeah, because cheating death always works. After several months of partying with his friends, Prince Prospero decides to throw an extravagant masked ball in his super awesome rainbow-colored subterranean party suite. Yes, 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 yes. For obvious reasons, death doesn't get an invite. Would it kill somebody to invite me? The denizens of the Abbey may be partying like it's 1399, but they're doing so in a decidedly eerie place, which begs the question: How does the setting of Poe's story create fear and dread in the reader? Could the Abbey's isolation make the reader afraid? After all, although Prince Prospero and his pals voluntarily lock themselves up to escape the plague, in barring the doors, they actually trap themselves in the abbey so they can't escape if something goes wrong. What if death decides to crash the party? Talk about Saturday night fever. Okay, second option: the weird colors, abrupt turns, and spooky lighting effects mirror Prince Prospero's insanity. <laughs> The madness made visible in the seven rooms of the suite makes the reader uncomfortable, or in the case of the creeptastic black room, terrified. <laughs> All right, third possibility: the black room seems like a place where death would be right at home. In fact, critics suggest that the colors of the seven rooms symbolize different stages of human life, moving from the blue room or birth to the black room or death. So, how does the setting of the Mask of the Red Death inspire fear and dread in the reader? Is it the Abbey's isolation that makes you afraid? Is it the crazy, spooky designed by a lunatic party suite? Or does it represent stages from life to death? Shmupa bunks yourselves. Talk about Saturday night fever.